at least it's time for romper room school and i'm miss helena saying hello to all my friends at home and hello to the new friends here in romper room we're going to have lots of fun today we're going to go marching so if you'd like to get your instrument ready and you'll be able to come marching with us won't you let me tell you the names of your new friends here so that you can call them by their right name first of all we're going to say hello to tristan how are you today tristan who's Good. that you've got on your lap there now just a little visitor have you did Nanny make that clown? Yeah. Mm, I thought she did. He's very special, isn't he? All those beautiful colours. And something else that you made for us, Tristan, is this beautiful big red bus. Tell me all about that. Um, I made it to, um, at a playgroup. At a playgroup. And who's the man up the front there? Oh, that's, the boss. that's the person that's right. Yes. And what about the man down the, the end there? What does he do? He's the person... He collects Look. the tickets, he, he gives the tickets, doesn't he, and collects yeah. the money. We call him the conductor, don't we? And lots of little faces peeping out of those windows there of your lovely big red bus. Thank you for bringing that in, Tristan. It's beautiful. And sitting next to Tristan is, is uh, Peter, and you're a friend of Tristan's, aren't you, Peter? And what have you brought in to show me? Well, mm -hmm. I've seen that. We've got a lovely kite there that you've made. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Have you tried to fly it in the park yet? Oh, uh, um, I made that my kitty and we did it. Do you, Peter? Do you? Look at you. And it fell down all the time. Probably there wasn't enough wind to make it fly, do you think? <laughs> and you know we all stay, so you? Mm -hmm. Yes, that helps it fly, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and you brought in a dinosaur to show me, didn't you? Yes, where did he come from? Um, come from Hong Kong. I think from Hong Kong, yeah. did he? Let me see what he does, this dinosaur. Goes for a little walk. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of bones got there. Bones in yes. <laughs> All bones, isn't he? Do, can dinosaurs that look like that really go for a walk? I don't think so, can they? They die. <laughs> they die. That's right, yes. He looks very and fierce. And don't forget, I'll tell you a name. It's not Brontosaurus. Oh, it's a Brontosaurus. I'm a bit terribly sorry. Yes, he's lovely. You must have lots of fun with him, do you, Peter? Yeah. That's the way. And sitting next to Peter is Bianca. And Bianca's made something to show you as well. What have we got here, Bianca? You hold it up and we'll show everyone. How did you do that? Hmm? What did you use there? You've done some sewing using wool and a needle. You didn't put the needle into your finger, did you? No, it was one of those special safety needles that we use when we're sewing. Hmm? Did you do it at kindergarten or at home? Oh, very clever girl, isn't that beautiful? And you're wearing a, a very nice dress today. You look like a spring garden with all those lovely bright flowers on your dress. Did Mummy make that dress for you? Mm -hmm. You can't remember. It's very nice though, isn't it? Are you going to play all the games with me today? Mm, you help me sing the songs too? That's the girl, Bianca. And on the other side of me is another girl. His name is Sarah. How's Sarah today? What? Hmm? What did Sarah make to bring in to show me? A beautiful necklace. Isn't that lovely? Look at all the things she's used to, to make a necklace. Pieces of um, little uh -huh. patty cans and cards. Maybe they were birthday cards, were they, Sarah? And you cut out the pictures. Uh -huh. A little bit of egg carton and some pretty paper and put them all together and made a necklace. That's lovely. Very clever, aren't yeah, you? Too. And straws as well, yes. Very nice. And what's the painting all about? Yeah. We'll open it and have a good look. What did you call that painting, Sarah? Sunny day. A sunny day, is it? I see. Is that you there? Yes. No, you? No, no. It's me, is it? Oh, I look as if my hair's about to fly away, doesn't it? Or have I got pigtails on there? You've got bubbles. Big pigtails with bubbles on. Mm, it's a lovely painting. I like the colour dress that you gave me there, Sarah. Aren't you a clever girl making a nice painting like that? That's the way. And lastly, we're going to say hello to Prudence. Prudence has brought her special doll in to show everyone. What does that dolly do, Prudence? Walk. walk. Can you show me how it walks on the table there? Then all the friends at home will be able to see how it walks too. Oh, look at her. Isn't she clever? Tiny little steps she takes. <laughs> Don't let her walk over the edge, will you? <laughs> That's the way. I'll turn her around. She can walk back to you. That's the way. Mm. When did you get your dolly, Prudence? Christmas. Um, Christmas present, was it? She's very lovely, isn't she? Mm. She's going to go right over to Prudence. 
That's the way. <laughs> she seems to want to go over the edge, doesn't she? Yes. Oh, she's a little. She wiggles as well. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Goodness. Well, while she's, while she's having a little wiggle there, I think we might go over and get our balloons ready. You know our special stuck. Mr. Doobie balloons? Well, Mr. Doobie wants us to have a turn with those now, and we'll see if we can make him come out when we sing our song. So let's go. Oh, they do look lovely all blown up, don't they? Here we are, Tristan. Here's one for you. Isn't that nice? Can you see Mr. Doobie hiding in there somewhere? Yes, he's hiding. Sometimes we can't see him, but we know he's in there when he comes out with that big buzzing sound. Prudence, you can have that one. One for Peter too. That's the way. Hold it down the bottom. Good boy. Well, I do like to hear those nice thank yous. Thank you, Sarah. I'll have this one here. Right. Do you think Mr. Doobie's going to be a lazy doobie today? Or is he going to be wide awake and come out as soon as we count? Wide awake. I hope so. He's been very lazy. I think it's all that spring weather that we're having. Makes us feel a little bit tired, doesn't it? Yes. All right. See if you can make Mr. Doobie fly through the air, looking for flowers in the garden. That's the way. Make him dance right across the garden. Come over here, Bianca, and see if you can make your Mr. Doobie fly too. That's the way. Now, would you like to come count to four today and try and make yes. Mr. Doobie come out. Four. All right, all the people who are four can help I'm us four. count to four today as well. Let's all say ready please Mr. Music. Ready please. Thank you. That's the way. You have to make him fly right through the air because he's got to wake up, hasn't he? Mr. Doobie, how do you do? We're going to play a game with you. We'll let you buzz, we'll let you fly. And catch you while you're sailing by. One, two, three, four, and fly! There goes one right over there. Mine didn't go. Didn't go? Who's going to catch that doobie over there? Goodness gracious, Phoebe, he hasn't quite gone yet. Oh, look at him slip right across the floor. This is it. Oh, another very, very lazy Mr. Doobie in there, I think. <laughs> Thank you, Tristan. That's the way. Oh, goodness. Where do you think this one's going to go? Is he going to be lazy? Oh, goodness. He tried to hop onto your shoe there, I think, Prudence. That's the way. And yours wouldn't go at all, Bianca. All right. Well, I'm going to try and wake up this very, very lazy Mr. Doobie inside, and we'll see who can catch him. Right over there. Maybe we weren't singing loud enough that time. Do you think that was the reason Mr. Doobie was lazy today? <coughs> Shall we try and sing in our very best voices this time? And what number would you like to count to? Five. Five? Oh. Show me how you can count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. That's One, the way. Two, three, four, five. Thank you, Peter. Good boy. Where did your Mr. Doobie go to that time? Hmm? He spent me a cat. Slipped right across the floor, did he? There we are, Sarah. Good girl. And here's a lovely big one for you, Prudence. Good boy. Tristan, this one's for you. That's it. Maybe my friends at home have a balloon that they've blown up too and going to Thank let you. that fly around their lounge room. And I'll have this one here. I do hope Mr. Doobie's not still asleep. Maybe we need a very loud alarm clock. Maybe that would wake Mr. Doobie up. All right, come stand back so you've got plenty of room to make him fly. And everyone say, ready, please, Mr. Music. Ready, please, Mr. Music. That's the way. Everyone sing. Mr. Doobie, how do you do? We're going to play a game with you. We'll let you buzz, we'll let you fly, and catch you while you're sailing by. One, two, three, four, five. Is he going to come out? Here we go. No, he's a lazy one. Well, I heard a lot of buzzing. What's that one doing over there? <laughs> Listen to this. He's so tired. He just doesn't want to wake up. <laughs> What's lazy too? Right around there behind the book. Just one leg. Thank you, Tristan. Where's that one? Thank it's you, Peter. Leg. Yes, that one there. Now, is that one on the floor there? Was he a lazy one too? 
Oh, goodness, I don't know why Mr. Doobie won't come out. My mum was a lazy one too. Very lazy Mr. Doobies today, weren't they? But it was lots of fun, and thank you for helping me sing that time. I think now we might go over to this board and see if we can find out which picture is different to all the other ones. You come and join me now. I know that you'll be able to tell me the shape of some of these. Here. Does everyone know what shape that is? Uh, a, circle. A, circle. a circle. We could say that that was round as well, couldn't we? It's a circle or it's a round shape. wonder what shape that little one is there. Triangle. A triangle. A triangle. And when they're two together, they look a little bit like a diamond, don't they? A diamond up in the sky. Is the next picture the same as the first one? Yes, yes. You sure? Yes, I can see a circle and a diamond shape as well. What about the middle one or the third picture? Is that the same too? Yes. One, two, yes. three. Yes, they're all the same, those. What about the fourth one? Yes. Is uh, it the same? Yeah. Let's have a look at it. There's the circle, just like all the other ones. The and the diamond shapes there. Yes, they're all the same. What about the last one? Surely there must be one that's different. I think the one in there. Why do you think that one's different? Because it's, it? it's not like the others. No, it's not. But can you tell me why it's not? Because it's not the right shot. Not well, there's there's the diamond, but what's happened to that circle there? But it went down. Hmm? The went circle's down. in a different spot, isn't it? Instead of having it over this side, it's over that side. And I think that that circle there might be a little bit bigger to all these, too. Do you think it might be just a wee bit bigger? Hmm? Well, let's press that button there and see if the magic light comes on underneath the picture that you think is different. I think you're right, but we'll just check. We right? Yeah. Yes, I think we are. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I thought for a moment the magic wasn't going to work, but there we are, the light's on, and we chose the, the picture which was different to all the others. I wonder if that's the one that all my friends at home picked too. You think it was? Yes, you're yeah. very clever at this, aren't you? I can see another circle there, but what shape's that? A triangle. How, could, how do you know that that's a triangle? Good. Hmm? Is it? Yeah. Yes, you're quite right, Peter. It's got three sides. One, two, three. And when we see a shape with three sides, we know it's a triangle. Is that a triangle? Yes. yes. What about this one? What's that? Circle. Circle. There's a triangle and a circle. Does that look the same as these two? No. No. There's a triangle and a circle. Wait, what's different then? The ball went up the top. Um, circle went up the top. You're quite right. Yes, you are, Prudence. Instead of having the circle down the bottom of the triangle, it's up the top. Well, now that's different to these two here. I wonder if it's going to be different to these two. Is it? Yes. Yes. How many have we got that are all the same? Let's count them. One, one two, two, three, three four. four. And you think the one that's in the middle, that's the third one, is different to all the others? Yeah. Tristan, come and press the button and see if we're right. That's the boy. Are we right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, of course we are. I think these are much too easy for you. I think you're just far too clever today. Help me with the next row now. Can you find one that's different there? Yes. Yeah. Which one is it? Because the triangle's at the top. Yes, you're quite right, Peter. There's the triangle up the top. And in all the other pictures, we've got the triangle down the bottom. I wonder if Bianca would like to come and press the button for me. Come and press the light and see if we get the light underneath the last picture in the row. Yeah. Right? Yes, of course we are. Very clever people. Oh, this is going to be very hard. I'm not sure that you'll be able to tell me which one is different this time. Have a good look at all those pictures. We've got a new shape this time. What's that one there? Square. 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 Is that a square or is it a rectangle? A rectangle. I think it might be a rectangle. It has four sides like a square, but there are two long ones and two short ones, so that's yeah. a rectangle. We've still got our circle and triangle. Does this one have a circle, a rectangle and triangle? No. Yes. Yeah. What about this one? There's the triangle, there's the rectangle and the circle. Are they in the same place? Yeah. Hmm? Have a good look at them. Uh, that one's different because it's not like, like that one. Why isn't it the same? You're quite right, Tristan, but why isn't it the same? Because it's, it's like, not like the <laughs> not like the other one, I see. It's on the wrong side, isn't it? All these circles are on the left-hand side, but this circle here is on the right-hand side. There we are. So that's the one that's going to be different. Is that the middle one? Yes. I think it is. Peter, have you had a turn of pressing the button? Yeah. You don't have to come and press it. Let's see if the magic's going to work. Oh. We're right? Yes, the yeah. magic's working and we've got it right once more. Now there's one line to do. Who thinks they can tell me which one is different? 
Which picture's different? Do um, you know, Prue? The one, the one which... Is it the first one, the second one? Uh, the one... Uh, Maybe it's the third one. The one with pony. Is it the first one, this one here? No. No? The one there. What about this one? No. Right down the end? Yeah. <laughs> no, that one's different. Do you think that one is? Well, yeah. let's have a good look at them. I can see a little square at the beginning there, and there, and in the middle one. I the fourth one, but what about the last one? Yeah, it's different. It's different because the square is on the other side. Sarah, come and just make sure that we're right. Press the button and we'll see if that magic light come on underneath that one. Yes, there we are. You had me a little bit confused. I thought it might have been that one in the middle. But when we had a closer look, we found it was the square that was on the different on side that time. All Very right. good. Thank you for helping me with that. Now, oh, I did hear the postman's whistle and look at all the letters in the mailbox over there. Let's go back to our chairs now and see who all these letters are from. Oh, I'd love to get letters and hear all the news about my friends. Have you been sending me a letter in Toronto and telling me all about your news? I hope you have. I also like to get pictures that you draw too. Let me see who this one's from. I've got a lovely letter and a drawing as well. Oh, this one's from Tamara and she's four years old. And if you have a very close look at that, you'll see that that Tamara, that is Tamara's nanny goat. Tamara must live on a farm, I think. Isn't it beautiful? And she's also done us a lovely picture of Mr. Doobie. There he is. What a lovely picture of Mr. Doobie. And let's see what Tamara's news is. Dear Miss Helena, my name is Tamara and I'm four years old. My brother's name is Taras and he's seven. We are living in my grandpa on my grandpa's farm until we leave for our holiday in Europe. Oh, that does sound exciting, going over to Europe and also living on a farm with nanny goats and lots of animals to see. My grandpa and nana have just come back from overseas and we're buying a camper van and will travel around for one year. Oh, won't that be a lovely holiday? On our farm we have a dog, a kitten called Smokey and a goat called Nanny. I go to preschool on Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but today I'm home because I have an earache. Well, I hope that you'll feel a little bit better soon tomorrow. It's no fun having an earache, is it? That's I lovely. I That's why I had a sore yeah, it's not very nice, is it? No. So that's why Tamara wrote that lovely letter telling us all about Grandma's and Nana's first. farm. And you feel better after that? Yes, I thought you might. Perhaps if you live on a farm, you could draw me a picture of all the animals that live on your farm. Well, here's a lovely picture from Jacqueline. You see Mr. Doobie there? I wonder what Mr. Doobie's trying to do. I think he might be trying to get some nectar out of that lovely flower that Jacqueline's drawn. And there's Romper Room, and there's Jacqueline coming in to see all her friends. Let's see what she says. Dear Miss Helena, my name is Jacqueline. I'm four years old. Next year I'll be going to school, and I'm looking forward to it very much. I have a baby sister, Anne-Marie. She's only ten months old and just learning to walk. I have a dog, and his name is Otto, and he's four years old too. My picture is about Mr. Doobie in Romper Room, and Mr. Doobie's wearing soccer socks, and he has kicked the ball right over Romper Room. I'll have to have a look and see where Mr. Doobie's got his... Yes, look at those socks, all those stripes there. And he's just about kicked the ball right over Romper Room. There's the ball up there in the sky. I didn't see it before. He's very clever, isn't he? There's a cloud in the sky, and Miss Helena is in the picture as well. Oh, I thought that was Jacqueline. Thank you for having Romper Room. I watch it whenever I'm at home. Love from Jacqueline. Well, that's a lovely picture that Jacqueline's drawn and a lovely letter as well. Now we've got one from David this time. And David's mummy has written the letter for him. He said, Dear Miss Helena, mummy is writing this for me because I can only do circles and strokes so far, but I'm trying very hard to write. My name is David and I'm four and a half years old. My sisters are Justine and Angela and Natalie is five and a half. They all used to watch Romper Room when they, before they went to school. Miss Patricia was their special friend, but you're my special friend. I'm the youngest in our family and dad and I are the only boys. Mummy and I want another baby in our house, but Dad says we have to borrow our friend's baby sometimes instead. <laughs> I'm trying to be a good boy, and could you peep at me in your magic mirror? Well, I can see you now, David, can't I? I always sit up and smile when you look in your magic mirror. Love 
from David. Well, even though I don't say your name, David, you know that I can see you, don't you? I can't say everyone's name that I see, but I can certainly smile at you, and I'll try and look for you one day in the magic mirror. Thank you very much, David, for that letter. And we'll have one more. Now, who's this letter from? It looks like a lovely big drawing that we've got. And it's from Emma. Dear Miss Helena, my name is Emma and I'm four years old. I watch Romper Room every day except Friday when I go with Mummy and my baby brother Adam to playgroup. I love watching Romper Room and I have my own basket, my own punch ball, safety chief car and a hobby horse as well. And I always have refreshments with you. Mummy has put my name on the list to come and visit you soon and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm enclosing some pictures that I've finished for you and I had to sort out the best ones because I've done so many for you. Well, thank you for all those lovely pictures, and I love getting your letter as well, Emma. I'm looking forward to my Jack in the Box letter and to hearing from you. Love from your friend, Emma. And if you'd like a Jack in the Box letter, here's where you can send your letter to, or your picture, to Miss Helena, uh, Romper Room, Channel 7. And don't forget to put in a stamp as well, and I'll be able to send back a special Jack in the Box letter. But now I think we might go and get our instruments ready, our rhythm instruments, put on our marching hats, and go marching all round Romper Room, making a lovely sound. That's the way. Put your chairs under the table, and we we'll might come marching around here, might we? wonder what you're going to have today. Do you have a drum that you're going to beat on? Yeah. Maybe you have two spoons that you're going to bang together to make a lovely sound. That would sound nice. Would you like the bells to be anchored? They make a lovely sound, don't they? You have the castanets. You've got the, the sandpaper block. Show me how they... I've got, they, I've got the, the drum. The Peter's got the castanets. Tristan's got the drum ready. What instruments do we call that, Sarah? Do you know what's that called? We've got the nine tapis. Clappers or castanets, that's right, Peter. Show me how you're going to play those cymbals. Sarah, hold them together and they make a lovely big banging sound, don't they? That's the way. I think we're ready now to go marching, so let's make a line. Come over here, Bianca, and be the leader. The hat's on. Oh, I did forget the hats, didn't I, Tristan? We can't look like a real band without our marching hats. That's the way. Sarah, come up behind Peter, and Tristan can be the big bass drum right down the end there. That's the way. Lovely red hat for Prudence. It's a blue one for you, Peter. Do you like a blue one too, Sarah? Yeah. That's the way. And a nice black hat for Tristan as we go marching. I'm going to have the red one today. Do you know what the name of the instrument is that I'm playing? What do we call this? Who knows what that is? A clapper. It's a clapper or a castanet, you're quite right. I think we'll say, ready please, Mr. Music, and go right round the table together. Ready? Ready, ready, ready please, ready. Mr. Music. Off we go. Which way to go, Tristan? You're a beautiful drum major, though. And didn't those instruments sound lovely this morning? What a lovely sound. And I could hear that drum that you're playing at home. Is yours an ice cream container with one of Mummy's wooden spoons? That made a beautiful sound that time. Come and be the leader, Sarah, this time. We'll keep the same instruments. And I think we might go right round the tables and chairs this time and look like a band marching down the street making a lovely sound. That's the way. Right. I wonder if Mr. Music's going to play the same tune or if it's going to be a different one. We'll listen very carefully and see what he's going to play this time. Would Sarah like to say, ready please, Mr. Music? Ready please, Mr. Music. Thank you. forgot to march that time. We were just walking around instead of lifting our knees nice and high, weren't we? Next time we're going to look like a real band marching down the street. But let's change our instruments and get a different one. Maybe you'd like to have oh. the tambourine. Tap on the tambourine and give it a shake like that. Anyone like to have this tambourine with Mr. Jack in the box? 
You'd like to have heard this, that's the way. What are you going to have this time, Bianca? Mm, maybe you'd like the symbols or the castanet. See if you can find something there. I think I might make this sound with the same paper. Hello, box. I like fun. that sound. Of course you can. Like to have a drum again? There we are. Where's the drumstick? That's the way. Can you see one that you'd like, Bianca? Maybe you'd like to have the castanets this time. There we are. Good girl. Now, Peter, come and be the leader. That's the boy. Turn around this way. Oh, oh, and this time we're all going to stand behind Peter. I'll turn the drum round so it'll be a little bit easier to play. Of course I will, yes. What do we call that instrument, Sarah? A, a, triangle. a triangle. A triangle. How many sides does this triangle have? Three. Three? Right. Yes, all triangles do, don't they? That's the way. Sarah, come down here behind Prudence and let's go marching. We're going to, we're going to use our knees this time and make them go very high instead of just walking. Shall we do that? Everyone say ready, please, Mr. Ready, Music. Ready, ready, ready. Ready. Very nice, wasn't it? I liked going marching around Romperoo. Oh. Do you sometimes march with us? Were I you like marching then? You like the punch balls? That's one of my favourite games too. But you know what we're going to do now? We're going to have a drink together. What's that called? Yes, we're going to have our refreshments together. So perhaps while we're putting our instruments away, you can go and get a drink to have too. Take off our hats. That's the way. Put it on top of mine, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need two helpers to give me give out the refreshments. Will you help me, Tristan? And perhaps Peter will too. The boys can serve the girls today. Just move your toys up a little bit so we've got some room to put the mats down. That's the way. I wonder what the girls and boys at home are having for their refreshments. Maybe they're going to have an orange drink. Or they might have milk like we are. Now, first of all, we'll give out the mats. Would you like to serve this table, Tristan? Yeah. You'll only need two mats, won't you? Yes. Well, how many do you think you'll need for your table? Um, um, two would do. And what about you? You've forgotten you? One, two, three. Oh, try Mr. three. Is on it. Yes, he is. He looks very happy there, doesn't so he? Jack in the box. I wonder what Mr. Doobie has for refreshments. I think he might like to have nectar, don't you? Yes. Okay. And one mat there for Peter, for you, Peter, and one for Tristan. That's right. Thank you. Hold it down the bottom so it doesn't break. It doesn't fall. That's the way. The anchor would like that nice cool drink of milk, I think. Good boy, Peter. Now everyone has one, and I've got mine as well. Right. I think we're ready. He's on the track too. Yes, he is, isn't he? And smiling at us. Let's put our hands in our lap and we're going to say our very special romper room thank you together. Do you know those words now? Will you help me say them? For our family, yeah. our friends yeah. and food, we yeah. say thank, thank you. you. Mm, does that taste nice? We've been doing lots of games. We're getting very thirsty. Mm, I can hear that you're thirsty today. Yes, Peter finished already. A bit of a moustache there. How about getting the tissue and wiping your face? That's the boy. And then you can bring me your mat as well. I'm finished too. You're very yeah. thirsty, boy, Peter. Yeah, you are. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, what a tall building that is. I wouldn't like to have to climb all those stairs. Um, Tissues are just there for you. In the bins over there. Good girl, Bianca. That's the way. Thank you, Tristan. I think we've got all the nuts and mugs now. So I'll go and get Wendy and see what she's doing today. No more tissues? No. Oh, we'll have to get some more, won't we? I've got a hickey. You have? Oh, good girl. Yes, I think Sarah might like to do Wendy. I, I, I want to do it. Well, you helped me with the mats and the mugs, didn't you? So we'll let Sarah have a turn now. Just pop in on your chair there and I'll move it in a little bit. Come round the other side, Sarah, so that you can reach Wendy. I wonder what Wendy's going to do today. 
Oh, Wendy's visiting Romperim, just like all my friends here. And it's a lovely sunny day. I wonder if it's a sunny day at your house. She's got her summer dress on. She's got puff sleeves like Sarah's, aren't they? The anchor's got yeah. those sleeves too. Yeah, shoes and socks and the other one. That's the way. Got it on? That's it, just for his And here's the balloon, Mr. Doobie balloon, that Wendy's going to have a turn on. I hope her Mr. Doobie is, um, comes out a little bit quicker than ours did. And Wendy's going to have a ride in the safety chair car too. Wendy's going to have a turn of your favourite game, Tristan, with the punch balls. That's the way. She might need And it here's Mr. Jack in the box. And she might even go galloping on the horses. Put it over here. Now that it's springtime, we're seeing lots of leaves on the trees, aren't we? Good. Me too. And another way. And the other way. Good girl. Thank you very much, Sarah. Do you think she's going to have a lovely time in Romper Room doing all those things? Oh, yes, I think so too. Well, now we're going to play another game where you have to help me find out which picture should come in the magic circle. Will you help me now? All right then. I'll just put the easel away and then we'll get our pictures ready. We're going to have a look at some instruments today. Not the instruments that we were playing when, when we went marching, some different kinds of instruments. Oh, yeah. Do you know these? Oh, yeah. I wonder if you can tell me what the names of these instruments are. Piano. Hmm? There's a piano there, yeah. yes. What like, about this one? Like a trumpet. A trumpet, and this one? Trumpet. Trumpet. That looks like a trumpet. You think it does? That has a very special name. That's a saxophone. That's a hard word, isn't it? Can you say that with me now? Saxophone? Very good. Now I wonder what that is. A trumpet. Hmm? trumpet. Not a flute and not a trumpet. That's the trumpet there. That's a very special instrument called a clarinet. That's another hard word as well, isn't it? Clarinet. So we've got a clarinet, piano, trumpet, and saxophone. Now, if we were looking for the instrument that was the trumpet, which one would it be? This one? Yeah, this one. No, not that one. I think I heard someone at home tell me that that was a saxophone. What about this one? Is that a trumpet there? No, that's a... Clarinet, yes, clarinet. no, that's not a trumpet, that clarinet, that one is. The piano? No. no, must be this one then. Is that the trumpet? Yes. Yes, that's the trumpet there. Right, well, you close your eyes and we'll see if that's the picture that comes in the magic circle. Nobody peep, will you? That's the way. Now you can open your eyes and have a look. Yes. Did the right one come in the magic circle? Yes, yes it is. The There's the trumpet. And that's the one that you chose. Very clever people. Some of these instruments are a little bit hard, aren't they? But you're trying very hard too. Now, oh, I think you'll be able to help me with this one. Tristan and Peter were playing that. What is it? A drum. A drum. Can anyone play that instrument? Piano. Uh, I'm, I'm you can play a piano a little bit? Yes, it's lots organ. of fun, isn't it? Now, do you know what that one is? A violin. A violin, quite right. And can you remember the name of this instrument? Hmm? Trumpet. Not a trumpet? Not trumpet. Saxophone. That's the saxophone no, there. No trumpet Now this time, we're looking for the violin because the writing up there says, which is a violin? Now, can you tell me if it's this one? No. Can you remember the name the of that instrument? The one up the top there. This one here? No. No, the that's the drum. Top. What about this one? No. No? Yeah. Is that the violin down the yeah, bottom there? Yes. yes, I think so. Close your eyes then and we'll see if that's the one that comes in the magic circle. I'm sure it is. I just think you're very clever today. Have a look now. Yeah. Yes, there's the violin. Yes. 
Oh, I don't think I can catch you at all. Did you say that that was the violin as well? And do you remember the name of the saxophone? I thought I heard you calling it out. Now, this time we've got a, some more instruments. Some of them are the ones that we've seen before. We've seen a piano before, haven't we? Yes. Have we seen this one before? Yes. And what do we call it? That's not a xylophone. Not a xylophone, you're almost right. It's a saxophone, I yes. I see a trumpet there. Is that the trumpet you're yes. thinking of? Yes, yes, that is a trumpet. Can you remember the name of that one? A clarinet. A clarinet. clarinet. Very yes. clever, aren't you? Well, that's the instrument, instrument that we're looking for today. We're looking for the clarinet in one of these pictures here. Is it this one? No, no. no. What did we call trumpet. that? A trumpet. Is it this one? Yes. Yes, that's the clarinet. That's a wind instrument. What about this one? No. No, that's not a clarinet because sometimes. you know that that's a, a piano. piano. Yeah. Quite Some, right. Sometimes um, it looks like organs. Yes, that, you're quite right. It does look a little bit like an organ, doesn't it, Sarah? And the last one down here, what is it? Hmm? Can you remember? Uh, we keep forgetting, don't we? That's the saxophone, right. Okay. Now, you told me that that was the clarinet and that's the one that we hope comes in the magic circle. Let's close our eyes and see if it does. And have a look now. Yes. Yeah. Yes, there's the clarinet. Do you think you can help me one more time and find the right instrument? Yes. All right then. I've got one picture left and I think you're going to be able to help me. Some of my friends have these at home. We're looking for the drum this time. Where's it's not that one because you told me that was the trumpet before. Where's Is that a drum? Yeah. Yes. What do we call these two sticks here? Hmm? That's the drumstick, isn't it, to beat on the drum? And tell you what, we've got a Mr. Derby drum. Have you? Unless I sat on it. Oh, goodness gracious. Mummy will have to mend it, won't she? And there's the saxophone and there's the clarinet. Now, one of these pictures down here is going to come in the magic circle. The and drum. we're looking for the drum, remember? Is the it drum. this one? No. no. The drum. Not the clarinet. Not the, the, not the trumpet, but that, the that drum. drum. Right. Close your eyes one more time. There we are. And have a look now. Is the drum in the magic circle? Yes. Yes, yes it is. There it is. Very clever people, aren't you? Would you like to help me now and have some singing games and help me with the singing? I'd like you to. The first singing game that we're going to have is called Here We Go Round the Mulberry Bush. And we're going to have to think of things to do with our hands and our feet. So come and make the circle together. Prudence, you can hold my hand. Here we are. Come on, Pete, good boy. Thank you very much, Tristan, for putting the chairs in. That's the way. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's it. Hold on to uh, Peter's hand and to Bianca's as well. Not much I think we might move over here so we've got a little bit more room, don't you? That's it. Cool. There's not much paper. This is one of my favourite singing games. Here. The words are, here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush so early in the morning. And when we're singing those words, we're going to skip round in the circle together like that. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush, bush so early in the morning. Then the words of the song say, this is the way we, we might want to clap our hands. Can you think of anything else to do with our hands? We might like to roll our hands or stamp our feet or tap our head like that. Tristan, yes. Can you think of anything different, Peter? Hmm? Snap our fingers, maybe. Why don't we have a clapping turn for our first turn? All right, that's the way. Make a big circle again, stretch out your arms. Good. Is everyone going to help me sing the song as well? Yes. All right, let's all say, ready please, Mr. Music. Ready please, Mr. Music. Thank you. Here we go around the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go around the mulberry bush so early in the morning. Now, let's, we thought we'd have a clapping turn, didn't we? You ready to clap then? All right, tell Mr. Music that we're ready to clap. Ready, ready, ready please, Mr. Music. Ready, please, Mr. Music. This is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands so early in the morning. Very good. Now I'm going to get someone to stand in the middle and they can choose what we'll do for our turn. Would you like to have the first turn, oh, Peter? No. no, you wouldn't. What about Sarah? Okay, come in the centre and we'll join our hands and make a circle around Sarah. And Sarah's going to think of something to do so that we can copy her. I think the boys can say, ready please, Mr. Music. Ready please, Mr. Music. Thank you. 
You we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. You we go round the mulberry bush so early in the morning. And what's Sarah going to have us do? We're going to hop, are we, on one foot? I hope we don't fall over. Everyone ready to hop? That's the way, and Sarah can tell Mr. Music we're ready. We'll be the music. Thank you. This is the way we hop. Hop. Hopping very hard, aren't you? We hop away so early in the morning. Yes, it is hard, isn't oh, it? Is hard, isn't it? <laughs> you, you were hop. holding the other leg so that it wouldn't go down, were you, Sarah? Mm, that's a good idea. I've got a hop. Stretch out our circle. We keep going close over to the tables and chairs, don't we? Who'd like to go in the centre this time and Me. have a turn? Would you like like to, Tristan? Come on, then. That's the way. wonder what Tristan's going to think of uh, us to do. We're going to tap our head like that. All right, then. You might like to say, ready, please, Mr. Music, for me. Ready, <laughs> please, oh, Thank you, Tristan. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush so early in the morning. We're going to tap our head like that? Yeah. All right. Tell everyone, we're, Mr. Music, we're ready. Ready, please, Mr. Music. Ready, please, Mr. Music. Thank you. This is the way we tap our head, tap our head, tap our head. This is the way we tap our head so early in the morning. What a lovely turn that was, Tristan. Anyone else like to have a turn now? Prudence, you come in the centre now. Think of something for us to do. I wonder what Prudence might think of this time. Jumping. A jumping turn? Oh, I think I'd like to do that too. All the girls say, ready please, Mr. Music. Ready, ready please, please, Mr. Music. Music. Thank you. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush so early in the morning. And we're ready to jump. I hope all the friends at home are ready to jump. And perhaps all my friends at home will say, ready please, Mr. Music. Ready please, Mr. Music. Thank you. Oh, let's have a little practice turn anyway. That's the way. We jump today, jump today, jump today. This is the way we jump today, so early in the morning. Do you like to jump or hop best? Hmm? I think jumping's much easier, don't you? Yeah. Yes. Uh, who'd like to have a turn now in the centre? Peter like to now? All right then. Let's make a circle around Peter. And while we're saying here we go around the mulberry bush, you can think of something for us to do. All right? Okay. All the boys at home say ready, please, Mr. Music. Ready, please, Mr. Music. Thank you, boys. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush so early in the morning. What would you like us to do, Peter? Wash. Roll our hands like that? All right. Tell Mr. Music that we're ready to we roll our hands. That's it. Can you roll your hands? Very fast or very slow? Slower, slower and fast. <laughs> That's the way. Ready, please, Mr. Music. Ready, really please, Mr. Music. Thank you. This is the way we roll our hands, roll our hands, roll our hands. This is the way we roll our hands so early in the morning. It was a lovely turn. I think Mr. Music's got some different music for us now. Perhaps he'll play it for us so that we can try and guess what our next singing game is. You listen very carefully. Will you play that for me now, Mr. Music? Have a little listen. Might be about a little mouse. Can you think of a singing game about a little mouse? <coughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> that goes running up a clock? Yes. Who might Hickory that be? Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. You're quite right. Let's make a circle then. And we're going to stamp our feet for this one. We're going to go hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran yeah. up the clock. Up. The <coughs> clock struck one. The mouse ran down. down, hickory, dickory, dock. Right, let's see if that is the one that Mr. Music's going to play. Let's listen. Yes, that's right. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down, hickory, dickory, dock. Now we'll skip together. That's the way. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. That's the way. Let's do it one more time. Stamp your feet with me. Hold hands. That's the way. Hickory dickory dock. Get your mouse's mice to run up the clock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. That's right. We say mice, don't we? Yes. The mouse ran up the clock. Hold hands one more time. That's it. And all my friends at home and everyone in Romper Room say, ready please, Mr. Music. Ready, please, Mr. Music. Thank you. Hickory dickory dock. 
to our story chairs, make ourselves nice and comfortable and you can find you a chair too punch and we'll, a little bit later on, all right? We'll have our story today first. This is a story about a little boy and he has a nail, a stick and a lid. I wonder what he's going to do with that nail and stick and a lid. Can you think of anything that you could do with those things? We'll have to see what he does with them. I think he's going to make something out of those sticks. I think he I think. Yes, he is. I think he will too, yes. It was Saturday and Billy's mum was going shopping. She said, I'm going to get a new shopping bag as it's Saturday. So she didn't, she, her old one must have been getting very old. So she's going off to get a new shopping bag. What's happening to the little boy here? That's Billy, isn't it? Do you know what's happening there? He doesn't Somebody work. is combing his hair, his big sister. Do you think he likes having his hair combed? No. It doesn't look as if he does, does he it? Doesn't look, he doesn't, he doesn't look, look very happy. Can I have the old shopping bag as it's Saturday, Billy said? Well, it's got a hole in it, said June. Silly Billy, you don't need a bag with a hole in it. But Billy thought of it. Then he got a pin and he fixed the hole. Billy was good at fixing things and then... Billy went outside to play. Who's this going out the door? Pussycat. His little pet pussycat. Got your pocket money, John said. Yes, said Billy. You getting sweets and lollies, said Mike. Oh, no, said Billy. I'm going to get something to put inside my bag. So Billy went down the high street. He went to the tool shop. And there were silver hammers in the window. Do you think he's going to buy a hammer? No, mm -hmm. no. We'll have to see, won't we? I think he likes all the things that are in the tool shop. Perhaps he likes to help Daddy when he's making things at home. <coughs> Billy went inside. I've got five pence, that's like five cents, and it's Saturday. Now, Billy said, what can I buy? Well, said the man, you can only buy a few nails. And the man shook the nails out. They looked like little silverfish. Oh, tiddlers, said Billy. I think he wanted some bigger nails than what the man was going to sell him. All he could get were a few nails. What did he see in the window? Hammer. Yes, hammer. I think he thought he might get a hammer. He didn't have enough money for a hammer. So Billy put the nails in his bag, deciding to take them even though he thought they were tiny. He walked on down the high street. He saw lolly sticks and round tin lids like silver moons on the footpath. Billy picked up the round tin lids and he put them in his bag. There they are. You can see some paddle pop sticks as well that haven't quite got into the waste paper basket. Maybe he's going to make something with all of those things. Then Billy went down to the park. There were lots of children on the swings, but Billy walked under the trees and picked up sticks. Then he put them all in his bag. What are these people, these children riding on? They're on the park. Hmm? Yes, they're in the park on the roundabout there. There are swings over here and a climbing frame. And I can see a little girl with a skipping rope. They're having lots of fun in the park. What's Billy doing? Is he joining all the girls and boys? No. No, he's picking up sticks off the ground, isn't he? They're dirty. What's in your bag, Billy? Mike said. Oh, moons and things, said Billy. Oh, Billy's daft, said John. But Billy just sat and thought of it. He fixed a tin lid to a stick. Then he fixed it with the nail. Billy was good at fixing things. Can you see what he's doing? He's got the long stick and the round lid and there's the nail to keep it together. I wonder what he's going to make out of that. Billy pushed the stick along and the lid went round and round. What's that, said Mike? Well, it's a car. There it is. He's going to push it round. We can make cars too, said Mike. Yes, said John. Let's go and get some sticks and lids and make cars, just like Billy's. But all the lids and sticks were in Billy's bag, and Billy was sitting on his bag. Oh, let us have a lid, Billy, said Mike. Why don't you give us a stick, Billy? 
John said. Lids are a penny or a cent, said Billy. A cent just for an old lid, said Mike. A cent for a lid and a stick and a nail, said Billy. All right, said John, here's your cent. And Billy gave John a lid and a stick and a nail as well. All right, said Mike, I'll buy one too. Mike and John fixed the lids and sticks. Then they ran round the park with their car. Zoom, zoom, mine's a racing car, shouted Mike. And all the boys wanted cars then. All the boys bought lids and sticks and nails for one cent. And they said, Billy's not daft. This is lots of fun. The boys ran round and round and round. Zoom, zoom, they shouted. I've got a big racing car. Race you, Billy, they said. See them? Just a lid and a stick and a nail. They're pretending that they're cars. Are they really cars? Well, yeah. they could be anything, couldn't they? June came to the park. What's in your bag, Billy? Oh, I've got 12 cents, said Billy. Like a lot. Would you like to have a lolly because it's Saturday, said June. I think June thought that she might like to have some of Billy's lollies that he's going to buy. Green, said June. I like red, said Billy. And Billy bought the lollies. Then he walked along the high street with his car. Zoom, zoom, said Billy, all the way home. So Billy was very clever, wasn't he? Yes. He made some cars and he also had something to eat from his pocket money that he made. Would you like to have a turn of Simon Says? Do you know how to yes. play that game? Yes. All right, let's sit down and think of some things to do. Maybe we could stamp our feet. Maybe we could put our hands on our knees. Maybe we could put our hands behind our back. But only if Simon says, what if I just say, snap your fingers? Do we do it? No. No, I know I'm going to catch lots of people at home, but let's have a little turn together. Simon says, clap your hands. Simon says, snap your fingers. Hands behind your back. Who's still snapping their fingers? Good girl, Bianca. Peter is. <laughs> Didn't catch you, sir. Caught a lot of people at home, though, I think. I think so. I can still see some people with their hands behind their back. <laughs> Simon says, clap your hands. Hands on knees. Can you hear that clapping sound? Mm -hmm. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> Not people with hands on knees. Very, very good. Simon says, meow like a pussycat. Yeah. Yeah. Quack like a duck. Quack, 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 quack. 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 Quack.